Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Solo React Talk. Tonight I'm going to be reacting to a video requested by JP Spectre and 7 It's called Surviving Edged Weapons. Yes, by John Tron Show YouTube channel. Um, if you want to check out my previous reaction to the other John Tron Show video, I think it was called Juicing. Yeah, I think it was called Juicing. You, you'll see it here at the top, the card. You see it here at the top and you can click on it if you want to check out that reaction. Um, remember, if you want to check out the original video as well as John Tron Show's YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, go. Some guy coming down your chimney, even if it is Father Christmas. No, guys, call the police. <laughs> call the police. Oh my gosh, it's really. We did it. All right, ready? Three, Three two, two, one, go. go. Excuse me, Mr. Kringle, sir. We know you're probably real busy tonight, but we thought we'd give you these. You know, to keep your strength up for the long journey. Oh, you kids. Santa's got something very special for you. What if this happened to you? Would you have been able to protect your family from Santa's relentless flurry of edge-based attacks? I told you, call the police. Worry not though, those kids were on the bad list. But what if they weren't? That's exactly why you need this. Surviving Edged Weapons, the best police training film ever made. Never again succumb to the evil of any pointy object. Nah, 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 nah. The blood is so distracting. I mean, look at it. It's just on that beard, like, ugh. Ugh. No matter how long, sharp, or delicious. Today we're going to take a look at something called Surviving Edged Weapons, which was a film issued to the Canadian Police Force in 1988 with the intent of training said police force how to survive and deal with what they refer to as edge-based attacks. You mean like a uh, close quarter battle? Uh, okay, okay, okay. But, you know, police have batons. They can use that for close quarter battle. I think maybe they should train in using that as an extension of themselves, you know, in terms of weaponry combat. Um, and they have a gun or taser, taser guns as well. You know, they can stand from a distance. They don't have to be in close quarter battle with robbers, but yeah, interesting. Well, this is in the eighties and in the eighties, yes, they had a gun and a baton. They can use that as well. You're talking like edge of a table, Microsoft browser. Well, none of those actually. Uh, what they mean when they say edge-based attacks is primarily blades, uh, with often comical and novel examples. So yeah, this was meant to be an actual documentary for police on how to best avoid and deflect situations involving knives, katanas, chainsaws, you name it, okay? Basically anything pointy, pencils. You gotta see this one to believe it. So let's watch. From the beginning, Man has possessed the attributes of the animal, and from his human inventiveness came weapons that could puncture and slash his enemy's flesh. Did we really have to go back to the fossil record to determine the origin of the shiv? We're going back down the family tree to Homo erectus to find out why man's got an unquenchable thirst for thrusting. He developed the instinct, speed, power, dynamic movement. And to illustrate this raw primal vigor, we found the fattest, most mentally incapacitated looking caveman we could possibly find. Gradually, which they are trying, they are trying. Just changed very little. Man created a knife culture. A knife culture. Knife culture. Maybe they mean like the technological advancement of the knife itself, you know, because we, we, we used 
what is it like petrified wood if i'm not mistaken volcanic uh stone uh also other forms of minerals that were able to be you know chipped away to become sharp and then you would stick them on sticks or stick them on uh, bones and then tie them up you know that kind of evolution so maybe knife culture is correct i think i don't know can someone please explain to me what exactly constitutes as knife culture <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Knife culture. Still slashing and stabbing its enemies, the knife culture is still alive and deadly. Right here, wouldn't you know it? At home. In the Bronx. So stabbing each other is part of knife culture. Okay. What's happening, man? Now that's it. Uh, you got the money, man? Let me see the shit, man. The shit's there, man. Where's the money? Five minutes. Five minutes, baby. No, oh, man. No money, no shit. Shit was there if you wanted it. But unfortunately, no money, no shit. Shit was there. Ah, oh, man. Five minutes. Knife culture. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> Hold on. You lost me. Can you explain the rules again? While the knife culture continues to... Is he disemboweling him? Oh gosh. Hone its skills, many officers dismiss the edged weapon as a mere relic from man's primitive roots. No, they don't. No one takes a look at this and goes, oh, very fine specimen. Is it, is it from the Neolithic? I think people on Star Trek might <laughs> think that way. What museum does it belong to? Hey you, pig. I wouldn't finish writing that ticket if I were you. Okay, wow. Real scary, Fred Flintstone. What are you gonna do next with that thing? You gonna jump in this car, hop in this car, pedal it with your feet like Wilma and Barney? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Fucking loser! Knew I should have brought a gun. <laughs> no, no, no. It wouldn't be that way. It wouldn't be that way. Remember, knife culture. Knife culture consists of you being close to your opponent. Extremely close. Uh, so that they won't be able to evade or to detect that you have a, a, a weapon concealed some way like on your uh, belt or in your I don't know like your arms or something that's when a knife is effective but at long range of course it's not going, going to be effect, effective against you that's why <laughs> in terms of knife culture you know they have to be close to you and they have to draw out the weapon as, soon, as fast as possible and attack you with it as soon as possible uh, before you're even able to react to what's going on. Just like that example we had with the two mafia people there, you know. The other guy took out a concealed knife, activated the tip, and started stabbing him right there. And the other guy could not respond in time. So yeah, that's knife culture, not this. <laughs> this, no. Use of the unexpected is a favorite tactic of edged weapon offenders. I told you three times to stop buying the customers. This time you're going to jail. You're too close. Oh, God damn it. I need a new job. Oh. Ah, shit. Basic perception if you get into a knife attack is there's going to be one single thrust. You're going to cleanly and effectively block it. And that's going to be the end of it. You're going to... The basic perception is I, I'm, I'm, I'm James Phillips, okay? I'm ready to the rough and tumble world. You think it's going to go this way? It's going to go that way, okay? Knives is complicated business. You're going to bend that knife out of his hand and arrest the bad guy and that's the end. It doesn't work that way, sports fans. You hear that, sports fans? You're lagging behind. You're making resident knife expert. James Phillips have to repeat himself. Get your shit together. Fucking sports fans. Things go from bad to horrible real quick. Right away, you're in deep shit. You're He's not lying, though. You're in bad shape. You're in a bad place. You're in what I'd call it not good, in a lower than ideal, not where you'd want to be situation. Our goal is to help you avoid becoming an edged weapon statistic by teaching you how to make a proper threat assessment and how to react with control. Now, what we really want to instill in you is not just how to spot an edged weapon, but also what to look for and what to do about it. Okay, in fact, just behind me right now, it's a great example. We don't know what that could be. You could just see the hilt of his sword poking out there. Could be his Vihander, a katana. 
jumping Jehovah James. That's a scimitar he's got. Very formidable sword. Don't want to tangle with that thing. Designed to kill when making contact with the body. Now remember, the first thing you got to do in this scenario is stay calm. If you don't get him on the first shot, you've always got four more. Hey, I got him in one, but don't feel bad if you don't, okay? Take as many tries as you need. See, what I want you to really internalize is that this method is nearly 100% effective, because even if he does manage to get in close, okay, he's really not going to want to get hit with those slugs, okay? He's going to avoid it, as you can see, at all costs, because it's going to hurt and burn his internal organs. Edged weapon attacks often occur in unlikely situations. Police department, come on to the door. Now, hold on. This no way, man. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does this man just casually have a claymore sitting in the corner of his house? No way. No way. I have nothing left to lose in this world. My wife abandoned me. My children hate me. Now this cop is knocking at my door and I have King Arthur's literal fucking Excalibur right next to me. <laughs> no, that did not just happen. How did they make this with a straight face and then show it to an academy of police officers as official training protocol? Adding to the threat are a host of improvised weapons. A baseball cap with razor blades sewn to the back, which can be swung by the bill to cut your face. This guy's a legend. All right, he's a regular Mexican odd job. Naranjas by day, your cabeza by night. Here's trabajo extraño. Common household items can produce extreme damage. An attack with this grapefruit cutter would be like getting stabbed with two knives. This improperly stored Swiss Army knife could be like getting stabbed with three. There's no way to know for sure, but these four regular knives taped together would likely cause a sensation of four knives stabbing at once. There's simply no telling how far this rabbit hole goes. Switchblades and gravity blades can be drawn and used instantly. Is the speed with which attacks can occur. Buck knives can be locked in place when drawn, even with one hand. Please, sir, have mercy on me. Watch how fast someone who's really skilled can get into action with a knife. Wait, what? Yeah, but, you know, you won't necessarily be facing up against people who are knife experts, you know. Yes, they will know knife culture, uh, getting up close to your opponent and then taking out your weapon and attacking them But they won't be able they won't be masters of the art of using knives. So, you know that 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 possibility is extremely rare. So just continue with your police training, you know Don't allow anyone to be too close to you and I don't know the other you know rules or uh, standard procedures that police have to do but you know, just follow that instead of... <sighs> Anyways, sorry, let's continue. <laughs> Were there any frames between when he was standing and when the knife came out? I didn't see it, dude. Go back. Go back. I didn't see it. There's no frames, dude. That's just, he's been holding the knife the entire time. Go to a baby picture of him. Dude, he's had that knife the whole time. He never took that out. Officers who fall victim to edged weapons usually commit at least one critical error like misreading what could be a weapon. Let's try it again this time. Why don't you leave the pens in the tray before you come through? Sure. Sometimes it's the unlikely individual who has the best chance of harming you. But, okay, okay. The unlikely, yes, okay, fine. But, <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, it sure is. Dude, you could have just put the pens in the tray. Let's be real, okay? Now you're going to jail for the rest of your life. Uh, was it fucking cool? Absolutely was fucking cool. Was it worth it? I'm not so sure. You were just on your way to see your grandma in Miami Beach. You didn't have to savagely murder that airport attendant. I'm not one to judge, but... Maybe the guy was mentally disturbed. I don't know. A third type of behavior usually occurs as a defensive reaction by an offender. Get away from here! The taunting gesture. Drop the razor! Stop! What he's telling you is, don't invade my space or I'll attack you. Soon after this grandiose display, he will retreat back to his den to tend to his newborn cubs, once again secure in his domain. Whether you actually have to use deadly force will depend on the suspect's action. Holy shit. Hell, Lady? Lady, are you okay? 
Rick, she's got a knife. Drop the knife! God damn it, Rick, take cover! That knife is fully loaded! Drop the knife! Lady, I didn't want to do this! I told you to drop the darn knife! When you do have to use your firearm, remember this acronym, SMENS. Go on, take notes. You, you better not forget that. SMENS, how, co how could you ever forget that? You shoot to stop the attacker's threatening action. Shoot, that's a good one. Remember that. Shoot first, MENS later. <laughs> you move out of the attacker's path. Where are you moving? Where, where are you moving to? You've shot him or her. There's no point of moving away now. They're dead or they're incapacitated. Until you're on the run now? Quick, get out of there before the police come. Oh wait, I am the police. You're going to jail for a long time, son. You evaluate whether the attacker has been incapacitated. What do you think? Yeah, I shot him. I, he's dead. You neutralize the continuing threat if it has not been stopped. Neutral. So you kill them again just to make sure? Wow. Okay, th th this one was already accomplished in step one. In step exactly. <laughs> Tron, Tron, exactly. Shoot, okay? Don't need this one. It's redundant. And finally, you scan the area for other threats. Uh, you scan the area for other threats. All right. Um. You're the threat in this particular situation. So unless you're scanning in the mirror, don't scan. Should really just be smashed. If I'm being honest, you don't even really gotta evaluate. Just don't even gotta move. Just just shoot. Just remember to shoot the guy. It's really all it's gotta say. How many edged weapons do you see now? You're back? Or is this someone else's house now? You guys are alive? I mean, he slit your throat. And he stabbed you in the stomach, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. You guys are strong. I didn't expect to see you two again this year on account of the aortic ruptures. So tell me, this year have you been naughty or nice? Oh, oh you little bastard! I'll show you the true meaning of Christmas! Remember, Smith, step one, shoot. Step two, move. Step three, evaluate. Step four, neutralize. Step five, scan. I just want to give a huge shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Many of you out there have been asking me for my shaving routine, so I thought I would share. You know, I may have a lot of sharp and shiny things laying around, but what do you think I use this? Why would you think that? I use the highest quality razors only, which is why I use Dollar Shave Club. And it's not just razors you can get from them. You know, it's shaving creams, lotions, deodorants, salves, you name it. They got everything to keep you feeling rugged and fresh throughout the day. I'm really talking everything, okay? They've even got, they got fresh and tingly peppermint one wipe Charlies. I'll let you use your imagination as to where the one wipe is going down. 
I know what I'm talking about, okay? I use Dollar Shave Club myself. I get a box from them every month. You can mix and match what you receive every month with their super intuitive graphic interface, and you can change the frequency with which you receive each item. It really beats going to the store every month. I just come straight to your doorstep, and you're ready to go. If you want to shave the John Tron way, go to dollarshaveclub.com slash John Tron to get the shave starter set for only $5 and check out all their great holiday gift sets. After that, the restock box ships full-size products at regular price. Merry Christmas. Okay, guys. Yes, that is it with surviving edged weapons uh, made on the John Tron Show YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I don't know why with the Canadian police service, you know, uh, give this video or yeah, this VCR cassette video to their police to watch. I don't understand why would they do that. Um, knife culture. <laughs> really, I honestly, I thought knife culture was the development, the technological development of the particular weapon, you know, that has been used throughout, uh, you know, the the eons that, not eons, but the hundreds of years that humanity has existed for. You know, I thought that's what it was about, but instead it's about, you know, stabbing each other in close quarter combat or just close quarter assassination or something like that. Yeah. Um, but honestly, th this video was weird. <laughs> this video, this documentary was very weird. Or oh, this, uh, you know, explanation video. Yeah. Like really. I think you guys need to just stick to your standard procedures on what on how to deal with people with dangerous weapons, whether it's a knife or a gun or anything else. Uh, no, don't follow this. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> move, evaluate, and neutralize, and then scan. <laughs> what, what, for what? For what? You've already shot the person. The person is dead. Uh, yeah, no, that was funny. It was funny. It was weird and it was funny. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, thank you to JP Spectre and Seven for requesting that I should react to this video. It's been an eye opener, really. Um, I wonder, do the Canadian police service still use, you know, <laughs> this, 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 uh, what is it called again? Surviving Ace Weapons, you know, instruction documentary in their police force i'm just wondering about that now um but yeah thanks uh thanks to jp specter and seven guys remember if you want to check out the original video as well as john tron show youtube channel the links are in the description below if you like my reaction please give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and i will see you guys next time okay good night <laughs>